Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV with me, Get Daved. I did a little bit of, uh, zooming around. Not that much, actually. I went to Endor and sold my things. I can't afford anything fun, though. We have picked up quite a few mini medals, so time to deposit those. We can zoom back to Zenithia quite easily, so... A happy hat. That's actually very useful. And the mighty armlet. That will help quite a bit as well. Liquid metal shield. I don't think we will find enough... mini metals in the rest of the game. I'm not gonna say it's a sure thing, but it's like the next closest thing. Might as well check one last uh, option, though. Where's St. Get Dave's Park? There we go. Okay. Let me just double check that. Pirate treasure in a big old cave. Well, there's two options for that. I think this route will be a little faster. Probably not. I really should have just zoomed somewhere. Too late now, though. I've committed. There we go. This is my first... Yeah! You bet there is. Oh, down into the depths. This is getting to be a lot of work for... Some simple metals. And I don't actually have a guarantee that we'll get any. But usually. Alright, I don't remember him being that far away. And you know what? We might be able to get away with using some... Okay, wait. First off... So this raises his strength stat by... F um, well, I guess 17. Right now he's got the strength ring... Oh, whatever. So it's really raising it by 25? I don't know. Either way, great attack power now. We could get more net damage out if we gave it to Elena, but I like the fact that she has the Ruby of Protection, just because we need her to have some defense. I'm going to give this to Ragnar. And the happy hat... kind of slips through the cracks a little bit. Get a little bit of a benefit for Mina, and that would give her MP regeneration as well. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. It's also, if you're a fan of Borea, it's an excellent piece of equipment. And then we can shift her back to... MP regeneration, MP regeneration. Uh, bag it. Yay! There we go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put on... Victor Plunk Bracer on Mia. Because I have a backup and it raises her defense more. Oh yeah, and one last thing. 
Alright, hopefully that keeps the enemies at life. We're on level 30 now, so... That doesn't do it, nothing will. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I'm not sure these are related. Yeah, come on. It did not take much to get you to abandon your lifestyle. To Saint Get David's Has the town changed? And we've got another NPC. He's talking about chance encounters. Yeah, but what about... Oh! Yeah, something happened. That's fantastic. Perfect. Okay, one mini medal. Any point in looking around, Tornaco? Oh my goodness. Alright, for the amount of work involved, that was actually pretty good. Oh, I take it all back. It's just a kind of airway, everybody. Alright. Oh, oh, three to go. And we have two really big... Yeah, I think we have a good chance of getting that liquid metal shield, actually. Hey, Prelvis Esley. Sure. Pioneeria. Mm-hmm. Sultan Farag, hey? That's nice. I've always been in favor of unions with the underclass. Alright, we cleared this out. I don't remember this church. Well, I guess we can say hi. Can't save in St. Get David's Bird. That's not surprising. There's so much variable content. Alright, they never built that. This is Rocky and Adrian's house. I don't remember burgling it again. Staring into each other's eyes. They always seem to have kind of a weird relationship. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm feeling great about our chances on getting the goods now. Oh. In the jailhouse in Strathbale. Alright. Maybe we can get our town to advance again. And what was... I'm disoriented. Here we go. Anything good? Sometimes they have some very special equipment for sale here. All 
out. I thought I was going to be busting into the underworld at this point, but it looks like there's an outside chance we could get all the mini metals we need. Alright, change of plans. Zoom to Strathvale. We'll make up for the lousy nightmare we had last time we were there. Breaking into jail, breaking into jail. <clears> huh. <throat> oh. Mary Curie is a monster. Well, guess it was all the radiation exposure. But why glue this to myself? Yeah, sure. <laughs> You'll try. How reassuring. Organized slime. Too many slime puns. Also, I made a little bit of a mistake. I should have talked to the frog when we were there. But who knows? Maybe I won't have missed an opportunity. Uh, looks different. Oh man, four in one video. What do we got to work with, Tornaco? Two more. One's obvious. It's by this horse. The slime's beating him up? Archaeologist, hey? Eh? Pardon me, archaeologist. Sure. The form of a frog. Also, I think this is a talking horse. Oh, yeah. Mr. Ness. The Sultan. Oh, the Pioneerium is up and running. What wonderful plunder. This is really going to help out. Okay, trash the place again. <laughs> huh. Really sounds like they want me to find that frog. Alright, Tornado. I wish could, that could just be on as like a passive ability, sort of. If he's in your party, you can see it in the bottom corner. What you got? Still nothing exciting. For a coat, 450 coins. Hmm. 
Hmm. I should lop you in half. Oh, man. We're in clover. Oh, good. Well, glad to find the money. Oh, a fire claw. That is uh, pretty much useless now. Can't really think of any sense in having two. I mean, we're pretty much past the point of even needing the one, but I've held on to it because, you know, hard to come by and such. Can't be purchased. It's not like Final Fantasy where a monk can use two weapons. Your plunk racer for 10,000. Does that mean you'll pay 5,000 for them? No, of course not. They are not worth that much unless you hate money. Alright, this is where all your chance encounters would go. Well, if you're going to the underworld, better bring a lunch. So if you had lots of chance encounters, that would be a lively and exciting pub where you could talk to people and see the def default text string you specified. Good times! Alright, unless you've got something to say. I did. Ugh. Stupid foliage. Just popped in to say hi, Mr. Priest. Alright, I think we're pretty much uh, done clearing this place out. And it has definitely been worth it. Zoom to Minikin's Dominion. Super present time. Ah, the Gringham Whip. That hits all enemies and has an insanely high attack power. I was not in the original game. Uh, might as well use these. Soon it's going to be... well, we won't get a ch be able to get through this entire area in this video, I don't think. It's a bit of a big one. But actually, and before I forget... What to do with the liquid metal shield? So, now that's new. Ragnar couldn't actually use it in the original. We could give someone else a huge benefit in their armor. Hmm. I think I'm going to give this... Mina, but then I'm going to move the liquid metal armor to Ragnar. Alright, and 
Now Mina needs armor. Uh, maybe... Where's my Glombolero? Good enough for now. I have other plans for her in the short term, just based on some items I know we're going to find relatively quickly. Alright, you'll recall the evil undulations from the last video? Well, down we go. Apparently you can survive the jump all the way down from Zenithia. Good news is you get your wagon in this cave as well. So, shared experience points makes it, in my opinion, one of the best places to grind in the game. Not this part, though. Later on. Alright. I think... I'm gonna leave Magical Skirt on Elena, because it has some really good resistances. And we'll give this to Mina. It will occasionally make a spell bounce off of her, and that's pretty much it. Also, sometimes it's not nice when a spell bounces off occasionally. In the original, uh, that would include healing spells. Well, Kirill's got nothing better going on. Alright. And now, the long dark. Alright. This has sort of got a spiral pattern to this cave. You'll see what I mean shortly. Oh yeah, and it's for, full of horrible things. We absolutely need to kill the Beelzebubs first. could swap Mina and Maya out. Or, pardon me, Mina and Elena out. But I think we're far enough along that it'll be okay. My traditional lack of attention to detail. See, we're fine now. Probably would have taken longer to click through the interface. Full heal on Kiro learns it a little late. Multi heal is the real one we're waiting out on, although it might occur so late in the game that. Let's just say it could be more useful earlier. Alright, this is the only way we can go this way. I forget what the count was on the mini metals we needed, but. I believe it was 62, or 60 maybe, and I brought in 53. Either way, we've got our work cut out for her. Oh no. This has made me change my entire plan. Let's just try getting some damage over here. Nice to have Boreo along. I can't believe they're all alive. 
Well, that's gonna change, I think. Boria! They'll learn stronger spells in the near future as well. That'll make them a lot more potent still. Oh, and before I forget... I've got that goddess ring just sitting there. Might as well put it on. Well, I guess Mina. Or, pardon me, Maya. Oh good, <laughs> we were being protected this whole time. These guys aren't too bad. Well, okay, I've got some characters with virtually no armor on, but... Focus on healing. And I think I can count on, yes, that. The exchanges are slightly less sustainable, but glorious. Consistency of a lot of spells in this game is what limits the effectiveness of a super mage party. That and limited ammo. Alien Staff, which I think is the sleepy one? Or is that the Lightning Staff? I forget. Ah, uh, sure, it's stronger. Poison Moth Knife, ah, uh, it's probably more useful overall, but... Okay. It is major, I like it. These guys, um, you want to get to kill them pretty quickly, they'll buff themselves with a whole bunch of stuff, and after they're done, they will tear you a new one. So, we're just gonna lay into them with the strong hitters. Oh boy. That deflection of the spell is actually going to speed this up quite a bit. Alright, so now he's immune to incoming magic damage. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> and he fired the spell at Mina. Yep. Oh good, a Mimic. Oh, the Thalion Staff is uh, the Staff of Jubilation in the original. Sometimes it makes the enemies too jolly to kill you. I'm not kidding. Alright, 
Let's see if we can get them all in one go here. Someday the hero will learn um, Kazap, and all of our problems will go away. In one big electric explosion. <laughs> I think I can step on the one on the far left. This is where this cave starts getting a little... Oh, no. Okay. Uh... got no armor right now, so... Good enough. And the demon spawn I actually want to take out. Hopefully Ragnar follows. Okay. Well, he's playing to his strengths going after... Oh, we got no communication. Ragnar's got the weapon that does increased damage to dragon-type enemies, so that's why he's going there. Puff! That turns her into a dragon. That's pretty cool. Alright, so far so good. Hela's armor. That is cursed. So we're just going to toss that in the bag, even though it's pretty good. And on that note, I think the video is running a little long here, and we're, I don't know, we've made a dent in the cave anyway. But uh, we'll have to continue on next time. I'll see you there, everybody.